So I was on the loading icon subreddit and I saw this cool infinity sign render and I thought, yes, this would be a cool tutorial. But then I also thought, we don't even know how to make an infinity sign. So in this tutorial, we're going to make it a quick one. Uh, I'm going to talk about how do you make the infinity sign. And I put a bit of a wave in here uh, just to get a bit closer to the result. So uh, let's talk about how to do that because there's a parametric version of how to do this. Uh, starting off with a new blender scene, go to geometry nodes, take the cube, make it a geo nodes thing, delete the thing, and we are going to take a mesh line, and the idea is we're going to make a parameterization or a transformation that takes us from this line uh, to the infinity symbol. Now before we get to the infinity symbol, um, I think we should start off with something simpler. Let's start off with a circle, because if you can imagine, if we take a circle and kind of pinch it in the middle, it will create the infinity symbol. So here's how we do that. Anytime we want to transform something, we're going to use set position. So we're taking the line, we're resetting the position to what? Uh, to something custom, a custom function. I'm going to make it so that we can control the X, Y, and Z coordinates. And specifically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sign. And it's nice that we can just type it in now. I remember the dark ages where we can do that. Uh, we're going to take the cosine and the sine of the index of the line. So as we go up the line, as we increase index from 0 to 9 in this case, uh, we wrap around the circle. Okay, uh, so let's use the index here, here, and visualize that. And you can see very loosely, <laughs> uh, it is giving us a circle. We need to increase the resolution. And uh, you might be wondering, what are these ridges on the circle? Basically, uh, each point is being mapped to a certain rotation of the circle, but we're overextending by a lot, right? There should just be zero to two pi radians of rotation, uh, but we're going way over that because the index goes all the way up to 30 in this case, not uh, two pi. So for the index, we just need to basically normalize it. I'm going to divide by the number of points, which is something that we can make uh, a parameter. So we take uh, the index divided by 30. Now we have one radian of an arc, right? And we want two pi of these. Again, if you are not familiar with radians, read up, boy, because it's in every tutorial. So two times pi. And uh, you can see there's a bit of a gap here. Uh, this is because I guess technically uh, we don't have yeah, I think uh, dividing by 30 is a bit off. We want to divide by 1 minus that. And that will close the gap. Because our indexing starts at 0, uh, so and it ends at 29. So 29 divided by 30 isn't exactly 1, but if we divide by 29, it is. Long story short, this is how we make a, a circle. And I know what you're thinking. We could have just added a mesh circle node. That's true, but we're trying to do a parameterization. Now to turn this into a infinity sign, basically, if we kind of draw this out, we want to think about a particle that's traveling along this, right? In terms of the x-axis, it's going right and left and right and left, which is exactly cosine. That's what it does. But as for vertical, instead of going up and down and up and down like a circle, where it goes up and down and up and down, uh, it goes up, down, up down, up, down. There, there's a second periodicity to it. Um, so it turns out that there's a simple way to kind of implement that. We just take this as sine, and we are going to multiply it by a cosine. And you can see it gives us roughly the infinity shape, and we can increase the resolution on that. So again, why does this work? Uh, the x side of our parameterization is just going left and right and left and right. You know, that's fine. Uh, but for the vertical component, there's a doubling. It goes up, down, up. Um, and the fact that sine and cosine are kind of tr are shifted from each other by like 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Yeah, 90 degrees um, makes it so that this happens. Either way, uh, there's a name for this shape, uh, for this formula, for what this creates. Uh, it's not technically an infinity sign, but we can do a bit better because it kind of looks more like a bow tie. Like you're going to a party, not like you're exploring the infinite. So a tiny bit of a transformation. I'm thinking we just pinch it on the y-axis. And to do that, uh, I'm just going to take our position. Remember, everything we've, whoops, everything we've done so far here has been taking a mesh line 
and transforming it into this, right? Um, so if we multiply, multiply, um, I'm using 1, 1, 1, so nothing changes. Uh, we multiply by a y coordinate less than 1, we get this pinching, which makes it look more like a infinity sign. And if we were to just visualize what we did here, because I think that's cool, I'm going to mix this with the position like this. And you can see what we have here is we took a line and transformed it uh, into the infinity shape, right? This is what's called a parametrization. And if we wanted, because this is a parametrization, by the way, so we can go along the curve uh, relative to a single input, uh, we could actually have a particle travel along here. So let's do that. Uh, what we can do is we can have a, let's say we have a sphere, something like that, travel along the curve. I'm going to make it much smaller. Uh, we need to somehow extract the position of our points along, uh, our position along the curve. We need to extract that information. And I always forget what this one's called. If we go to the curve and, yes, yeah, sample curve, uh, we have a node just for this. So I think so far, technically, everything we've done is a mesh. So if we take this, take mesh to curve. So now this is a curve object. We sample the curve. Uh, we now have a position um, output for this. Now it might be, we'll see if this works. Uh, we might need to do some kind of instancing stuff, but we could try to transform via the position. That seems fine. And as we increase the factor, you can see uh, we're traveling along the curve. And the seam is right here. This is where zero and one uh, meet. So if I was to now increase this by a time function, um, and want it to be periodic, we just throw a fraction in there, and now we have a perfect looping periodic um, infinity function. Periodic is probably the word. My mom has been watching this entire tutorial, and uh, is I don't know if you're clapping because I said periodic instead of periodic, or if I just... Yeah. Um, either way, uh, I think we're at the end of the tutorial, and maybe I'll do something else with this now that we did the infinity sign. Either way, at the end of these tutorials, I like to pimp the ever-living, I got a P, so let's say urine. I like to pimp the ever-living urine out of the Patreon. Uh, link in the description if you want three benefits. The first benefit when you join Patreon is you get early access to tutorials, so you could have seen me make this infinity sign, which kind of seems useless, but we might use it in a uh, different tutorial. Not trying to minimize our work here, but I don't know what we're going to do with this quite yet. Maybe we can do that render I saw. Um, either way, uh, you can watch this a day early or sometimes multiple days early. I am in a trance with this uh, sample position thing. Um, second benefit you get when you join the Patreon is you get access to blend files. So I didn't need to make this yourself. I'm just going to upload it as a thing that you can use just so you can have the infinity transformation. Sounds pretty cool. And lastly, uh, exclusive tutorials. You get access to those. Uh, those are not available for free on YouTube. I make those once or twice a month is the idea. Uh, but in general, I try to keep everything available for free on YouTube. So if you want to join the Patreon and support what I do, even a dollar is super cool. So uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.